Burial pots, eternal flame. Ooh, flame, you're at the cemetery. It's the caretaker shanty. You poke around in the shed. The caretaker appears to have been sh shirking his duties for quite a while. Look at the tools. Well, tools. Seem There's a shovel here. Well, I have a shovel. Continue to poke around in the shed. Look under the chair. Like all chairs owned by one guy, he has years worth of lint and food crumbs underneath it. Continue to poke around in the shed. Scope out the desk. It's covered with old paint spattered newspapers. It features a large collection of tiny jars of paint, as well as a jar of fine tipped brushes, a can of thinner, and a stack of history books. You continue to poke around. Check out the flyers, check to the wall. You discover a new map, Fort Memoriam. Maybe that's where the caretaker went. You continue to poke around in the shed. Eternal flame or burial pot plots. Let's do the plots first. Beyond this gate stands countless rows and columns of tombstones. Well, they're not actually countless. I've counted them, and there are 999 of them. You can visit an individual plot by number if you'd like. Is it a... Oh, my God. No, I don't know that. I don't know what to do with that. Let's try the eternal flame. Do not touch the eternal flame. It's burning eternal flame, yes? I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. No, it's good fire, not wasting it, blah, blah, not to wasting it. Fight, we're gonna fight this guy. Oh my God. I want his sausage weapon. That could be cool. Goink, goink, goink. Oh, it's this goblin bratwurst. It's not a weapon. Mr. County, level eight, Mr. Key level. Okay, so I can't do anything with this stuff. Um, also, you should find some barbed wire so they can grow. Am I forgetting? Uh, you sh I need to find barbed wire. I mean, there is barbed wire back there. Can I, like, take it? Can I take this? No, that's not barbed wire. We could try breadwood. Fort Memoriam. Let's try breadwood. Ghastly gets spooked by something off the side of the trail. It's easy to understand why there's a horse skeleton in the ditch, which is a thing that'll probably be extra spooky if you're a horse. Oh, I got a rain. Approaching the horse more closely, you see the tattered remains of a pair of Pony Express saddlebags on its skeletal flanks. The starboard bag is empty, but you, but the port one contains a skeletal human hand with a rain on it. You conclude that either the horse rider died with his hand in the saddlebag, or somebody is really sad that the skeleton hand they order never showed up, even though they paid extra to have it sent Pony Express. Either way, free rain. Rain of getting places faster. I bet it says speed rain. What the was that? Oh no, this seems pretty pretty <laughs> What the hell's going on there? Redwood Post Office. Missing mail, overdue books. Last time a mayor let this list get over three items that chased him out of town. Public library, soup kitchen, East Armory. Buttery biscuit. Oh, hey. Well, well, look like some poor son of a biscuit wandered in town. Howdy, cake sucker. Wow, geez, rude and baffling. Get used to it. We'd like our cousin here in Breadwood. Breadwood? Sure, fine, but cake sucker? We also like our breads and bread related products. So I've noticed. Oh, a spittoon. I'm. No, wait, a spittoon. I'm not reading it, though, because they're gross. We got we got boots. We got boots. I owe you one piano. Oh my god, you can trade with this? Oh, 
Oh wow, I'm gonna buy that. Oh, advanced cow punching. Buy. I'm gonna buy this too. Let's use those real quick. Forging, nice. More cow punching. Thick skin haymaker. Brawny increases my HP. I feel like maybe I should do thick skin. Um, or maybe the HP one could be cool. Haymaker is just another attack though. I kind of didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm going to... Here's the thing. It's so hard to kind of tell what to sell. Let's see. Let me go to the top. Um, crowbar. I need my tools. I can sell one shovel. I'm going to keep the sword. I don't want those. I don't need the artillery saber or the ghost pistol. No, I, I'll, I'll keep those. I don't want those. Length of rope. I'm seeing if there's anything here that we should. Maybe I should buy th that. Okay, we're gonna buy that. Hey, Dad, how are you? Uh, I already did this already. Suburban. No, we're gonna leave. Okay, can't talk to any of these people. Bunkhouse. Always flush the toilet. You get you get experience and wash up. Oh, here we go. Okay, what's it? What, what's he, what? What's Hob Hobart gonna be? Sound like? Uh, Hi, stranger. I'm Hobart Bubbert. You're what? Oh, I mean, hi, Hobart. I'm Kent Cannon. You seem like the traveling sort. Mind doing a fellow a favor? What's the favor? Thing it is, my only dream in life is to see an owl skeleton. I'm turning into Shaggy again. <laughs> That's quite a dream. I heard they're one of the. I, I've heard they've got one at the petting cemetery. The what? Petting cemetery. Is that what it sounds like? Exactly what it sounds like. But see, I ain't got the meat for a ticket. You want a loan? No, I got no prospects of paying it back, but I got a camera. And I figured if I went to the cemetery, you could take a picture of their owl skeleton and bring it back to me. Sure, I'll do that. I got an owl camera. Great, thanks a bundle. Okay. 3 a.m. here for you, wow. Oh, what is it? Oh, no, nothing there, it's just a pillow. Oh, more. Am I supposed to do anything here? I can't harvest this stuff. Oh, petting cemetery. We can go to Fort Memoriam. Your transponder starts making that bleeping noise. That means either treasure or a monster. And who can resist that gamble? Not you. At least not in this encounter. Anyway, your involuntary risk taking is rewarded when you find a high tech crate. Sadly, it's locked. Oh, I can't use that yet. Leave it be. Fort Memoriam. Oh, what do you got? What do you got, partner? What'd you say, Alice? Alice is frowning at her research shows. Uh-oh. What's up? Is there another cemetery in the area we need to check out? Yeah, yeah, you might say that. Definitely there's a cemetery in Stain, and definitely we need to check it out. Well, that don't sound ominous at all. You discovered a new map location, Buffalo Pile. Am I forgetting about anything else? Alice reminds you of... Uh, Check out the lost Dutch oven mine for more traces. Oh yeah, crap. 
I thought I did that. What do you guys want? Candy, sugar, okay, cool. What's going on here? Hi, I'm Kent. Hey, I'm Melvin. Are you the cemetery caretaker? Nope, I think Jeff said about having a day job. It hasn't been that day for like two weeks though. Haha, <laughs> snort. Um. Hi, I'm Kent. Hi, I'm Mike. Are you the cemetery caretaker? No, that's Jeff. I'm paralegal. There's a lot of things in this hobby I've noticed. Yeah, because if you lose the argument, nobody goes to jail. Okay, where's Jeff? Oh, let's talk to him. Oh, here's Jeff. Hi, I'm Kent. Hi, I'm Jeff. Are you the cemetery caretaker? Yeah, that's me. Did one of the other guys tell you? I try to keep it hushed because people assume you're a weirdo if you work in a graveyard. No, I just happened to be in the cemetery and saw your caretaker. Shaq, listen, you should probably get back there. Weird things are happening in graveyards all over, and someone needs to keep an eye on those skeletons. Oh, no, it's all right. Well, look, I'm on a real winning streak here. I'll get back once it's over, okay? Hey, what's up? Not in the game? No, I mean, I like games. That's why I hate all of these guys. But I've gotten bored of these strategy war games. I want something different. Like what? Well, I like playing the guitar. Mad Max, thanks for the follow. Well, I like playing the guitar, so I was thinking of some kind of guitar game where you pretend you're in a band and you have to hit the right chords. That sounds hard. If you don't already know how to play the guitar, yeah, I thought of making like a real simplified version of a guitar, but then it wouldn't be much fun for me. I have an idea. Instead of pretending to play in a band, why don't you join an actual band and play guitar for real? I know a place that's looking for talent. Huh, put my guitar skills to actual use? That's not a bad idea. Okay, cool. It's the Jewel Saloon in Dirtwater. Tell them I sent you. Thanks a bunch. I'll head out now. Godspeed, guitar man. Uh, I used to play Kingdom of Loathing. I've been wondering how this game is. It's fun so far. Mess all. Can I pick everything up? Oh, another spittoon. I'm not... I'm not gonna go... I'm gonna search it, but we're not... Oh, Bletch Scalibur. That could be good. Oh, re requires stench resistance. Let me, um... Let me fix that. I can, I can equip this for stench resistance to search this thing. Carol, how are you? Welcome. Oh, I got some pants. Leave. We got more pants. We got the pants to drop. That's difficult in this game. We know. Plus <laughs> seven muscle. What is this like? Deal stench damage instead of physical six muscle. No, I'm still going to probably upgrade this sword. I think. Let me put my little teddy bear on for more melee damage. Yup. Okay, so we gotta go back to... Oh, Buffalo Pile Petting Cemetery. We also gotta go back to... Lost Touch Oven Mine. Wait a quest there. Of course we're gonna fight this. We're just gonna do that. A lot of the comedy went over my head when I played as a kid. I remember it being hilarious though. There's definitely some adult humor, 100%. Uh, let's see. I swear it looked like that. I gotta equip more stench resistance. There we go. And we go. Saw the email, knew I had to most of all down to catch more of the adventures of Kent Kington. Yep, that's me, Kent the Cat. Okay, so there is nothing else going on here. I thought I went through all this, that's the thing. So. Um... 
Yeah, that guy was going crazy. And we talked to him last time. He didn't do anything. We climbed down. We couldn't do anything. I yelled at me to get out. I couldn't do anything about it. Unless I go back to him and I'm like, hey, where does he live again? Professor's house. Well, here's an unusual sight. An old boat out in the middle of the desert. If this were a beach, you could call it beached. But you can't call it deserted because there's someone in it. That someone is a skeleton wearing a helmet with horns on it. He looks pretty bored and is idly polishing the dragon's head proud of sheep. A dragon head proud of a sheep. You think maybe he's been here for a very, very long time indeed. We're going to bully him instead of killing him. Hey, hey, skeleton. Everyone you, you ever knew and cared about is long dead. You're a relic of forgotten past, trapped in a future that doesn't care. Your race doesn't even get credit for discovering the continent. The skeleton looks upset and perpetually throws a bone at you before climbing into his boat to sulk. You got an item, a skeleton bone. Yeah, we got a skeleton bone. All right, let's talk to the professor and be like, hey, I got this stuff. Uh, have you had a chance to take a keystone to the lost... Oh, hold on. I have a keystone, I thought. One second. Didn't I get one? Key fragment? Apparently I don't have all the pieces. Oh, fabricate a key. Oh, there we go. Um, so now let's go back to Lost Dutch Oven Mine. Oh, let's try talking to the goblin. Um, buy the tough looking ring, buy the sparkly, buy the elegant. I'll buy the tough one. Goblin nail ring. What does it do? Six muscle, four moxie. Do I still have stench resistant? I do. Okay, so now we got a key or whatever. So let's go down to the to the thing. Hopefully this works now. We shall see. So he was going crazy. We know that. We gotta go down here. Climb down. Here we go. Whoa. Come on. Okay, this pile was pretty obviously made on purpose. Closer inspection reveals that the stones are mortared together. What could be hidden? Uh, move the rocks by hand. You sure moved them. Yes, I did. Insert keystone. Trapezoid piece missing from this weird crossbar thing. You insert the skeleton, the keystone in the, in the crossbars. Sneak! Enter the portal. Whoa, we've done it. What's this do? It says no That's what it said. You have learned the El Valbrado word for toilet. The monolith is dark. There's a trapezoid section missing. The machine is dark. There's a circular hole in the bottom. Oh. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Is this a puzzle? This looks like a puzzle. Uh, push the first one. Um, those things aren't friendly. Neither am I.
Push the second one. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Cause that one's gone, and then we're gonna do this. Whiff! Can't hit me. Oh, you hit me for three. Okay. I wish Alice had more like damage skills, or I could upgrade Alice's gun. That would be cool. Maybe you can later, I don't have a clue. Oh, I got a punch card. Oh, heck yeah. Fight all this stuff. Not an assassin, that's true. But hear me out, what if she was like an, an assassin doctor? That would be cool, right? I mean, that'd be neat. Muscle. It's medical malpractice. That's, that would be true, Demon, wouldn't it? <laughs> that is very true. That's what would happen. I'm gonna just weed them down like this. Okay, my health is getting low, but that's... I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Oh, almost, almost. There we go, we're good, we got it. Boom, done. Punch card complicated. All right, so I got that stuff. So we did all that already. Let's... Looks like I could maybe insert a keystone. Vibrator loop. Large loop, that weird, slightly bigger around than your head. What? There's a humming and shimmering in the weird way. The other is that you suddenly feel as if you put earplugs in your brain. You thought, your thoughts get weird or quiet. I'll say it's weird and not entirely pleasant. You take off the headband. Oh, minus five mysticality. Let's try to go in here. Oh, I can't go in there. Um, hmm. I feel like this is a puzzle we haven't done yet. Oh, you've been over examined and accidentally stub your toe on it. It hurts, but the boxes move. It must be lighter than it looks. Take it. An L vibrato device. Oh, the professor wants that. Okay. So back to the professor. Let's go back to the professor now. He's gonna be so proud of us. He's gonna be like, oh, oh Kent Caddy, you did so great. A skull just sort of rolling it towards you, like directly towards you. When you step, it, it swerves to match it. We're going to face it down. Oh, look at that skull. Boink. Easy XP is what they say about that. He's going to be so proud of us. He's going to be so proud. 
Good to see you, Kent, again. Have you had a chance to take a keystone to the lost Dutch oven mine and look for all the unusual pile of rocks? You can always make a keystone with five more of our bridal scraps in that machine over there. I have indeed. Oh, did you find anything interesting? Hey, Professor, I found a thing. Great, let's see. Aha, Marvel is fine. This device makes batteries, or will once I fixed it. Batteries? Yep, the L Vibrotons powered with powered their portable equipment with little electric marbles, like the ones I put in your transponder. I'm sure I don't have to tell you a regular source of those will be incredibly useful. Awesome. Fabricate a battery? Sure. I don't know what it's for. Oh, just used for weird machines. Okay. Um, okay. Should we go to like, we're going to go to silversmith. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Cheap wine. Good. Go to the silversmith. We, I'm going to, I'm going to make my weapon better. So I wanted to use this sweet sword. Because I think I can get the damage way higher on this sword. So we gotta go to the silversmith, right? Oh, that's making needles. Uh, no. Where's the place where I was able to upgrade my weapon? Silver plater? Silver plater. That's it. There it is. Okay, plate your weapon. So what did that do? 5 to 18. Okay, so I also can do... What's the upgrade? I have like an upgrade for it. Hold on. Appalachian skull whispering. Weird. Just sell them sharpening stone. Here we go. Okay, 18 to 22 damage. So that's way more damage than 15 to 18. Well, not way more, but it's still, that's good. I don't know if that max HP was better, though. I don't know what y'all think. The six Moxie or the, what does Moxie do again? Oh, I don't need, I don't do pistol damage, though. I don't know. Maybe the bone was better. I don't, I don't have a clue. Where are we going next? Oh, look at all these new places down here. Uh, petting cemetery. We'll go there. We got to take a picture of the owl. Roy beans, house of justice and jelly beans. Let's go there real quick. I like jelly beans. Roy beans, house of justice and jelly beans. We got to We got to do that and flush the toilet. We got to get our XP gains. Now let's head on in for sale. No, that's insane. Oh, a spittoon. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Um, bef befouled pistol. Let's see what that is. Oh, thirteen to seventeen. That's really good. Howdy, howdy there, pilgrim. Name's Roy Bean. Howdy, Roy. I'm Kent Kettenen. What do you do here? Well, when I first came to these parts, I was all about the two things. Dispensing justice and dispensing jelly beans. I was the biggest name in bounty hunting and candy selling anyone ever heard of. Gosh, what happened? Oh, nothing particularly tragic. Got old is all. Hunt up my pistol for good. He points at the wall. He's pointed an empty hook on the wall over, sp over a spittoon. Oopsie. I still sell some jelly beans from time to time, but they're out of fashion. This old place is just a jelly bean museum now. 
Seems like the sign out front isn't very accurate then. How do you mean? Well, it's, if you aren't dispensing justice anymore, maybe it should just say museum. Huh, I guess you got a point. For a jelly bean museum, I sure don't see very many jelly beans. Huh, bunch of cooks and shady characters stole them all three jars. Suppose they think I'm soft target now that I'm retired. Oh, shucks. Oh, that sucks. I'll help you get them back. Jelly bean thieves hideout. Heck yeah, let's go. Jelly bean hideout. We gotta go save these jelly beans. Let's go.